Like, I, I don't... I don't like this school too much, to be honest. I like working more. And where do you work? Uh, at the strip... <laughs> no, I just kidding. <laughs> no, I, I, do, I do sales. I work in sales. All right, we just came back to the apartment here uh, to charge the mics. And what I usually do in my coaching sessions is I always ask the clients what their goals are, what they want to achieve. So we thought we'd do that um, now. So Corey, what do you want to achieve in the next few hours? Uh, well, what's your goal anyway in, in, you know, in game, what do you want to achieve? And what you want to, what do you want me to fix in the next few hours? Yeah, um, like first of all, I, I believe in coaching. Yeah. And yeah, obviously he's way better than me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you know, in terms of these uh, flaky numbers, yeah. especially, you know, like I would say that's my sticking point right now. Like I've got no problem with getting the number. Mm. Like at first I, I just, you know, wasn't able to get the numbers. Okay. Now I can get the numbers, but it's, I would say, you know, 5% like that leads to a day. Like mm. if I get 100 numbers, maybe I'll have like five, five dates or okay. something. So well, that's not even that bad because it's, that bad. Uh, it's the step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So first, you can't get numbers, right? That's just how everyone is. You can't get numbers and then you get numbers, they flag and then your numbers don't flag, but then your texting is really <laughs> texting and then when your texting becomes good, maybe on the date, you're really <laughs> right? <laughs> but some guys, they're quite good in dates. They're I've natural. seen guys, yeah, not natural, but even if you're not a natural, with women, because dates is quite easy. The girl is there because she likes you, right? Yeah. So if she's she, coming there because she likes you, and so it's slightly easier than an interaction. But anyway, that's for another day. So we need to get you solid numbers. That's what you want. Yeah. You want, when you get the number, you want her to text you back and come on a date. So that's the goal. Exactly, that's the goal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool, man. Let's get right into it. All right, so now we're gonna be analyzing one of Corey's interaction. This is the one with the Bosnian, isn't it? Bosnian. Yeah, yes. very attractive girl. And you did really well in the stop, I remember it. So let's have a look at that one. We can play it mm -hmm. and we can analyze it as we go along. Excuse me, I was walking like that and I saw you, you like you had the best walk I've seen today. I was Thank like, you. yeah, yeah, just gonna go and say hi. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, not bad. I'm actually in a very good mood. You know, it's like with the summer is up, you know, I feel good energies. Yeah, something happens with the voice, doesn't it? Yeah, it breaks up. Like, yeah, the, the microphone breaks up. But that was really good because you had good energy in the approach. Uh, your energy was good. I remembered you had a good uh, smile as well. So that's important. And that's why you managed to get her to stop. Yeah. Right? Because you had the, what we call the components, the key components of the open which are eye contact, smile, good voice projection, and enthusiasm. So the good thing about you is you always got good enthusiasm, you're energetic, mm -hmm. and that's an attractive trait, especially right in the beginning, you wanna have good energy. Right, when you're on an instant date, when you're on a date in comfort stage, it's different. Yeah, you're so gonna be a bit, a bit What more. I noticed about you was, you know, about <laughs> having a coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's do this. So what? So there. So you implemented what we talked about, right? You you did a code read. You said you got a very mm -hmm. smiley face. Smiley face. And what else did you say? Uh, you got a very smiley no, face. Good vibes, you know, so that smiley face. I'm feeling. Thank you. I'm just proud work. Oh, uh, she asked me how yeah. I'm doing. So I said I'm good, and I did a cold reading. So okay. I'm guessing with the smiley face, you're in a good mood. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you didn't ask a question. That's cool. Oh, so she said, "How are you doing?" Yeah, yeah. She oh, said, "Oh, well, that's." Doing. So this one's a, that was a friendly. One, yeah, friendly. Right? Yeah, and that's the thing about Prague. You get a lot of girls that are friendly and into like having conversation. They're quite uh, social, which is great. Uh, but yeah, so you implemented the uh, assumptions. Don't ask questions. Yeah. Make assumptions. That was good. Mm -hmm. How about you? I feel like, you know, you have good vibes, you know, it's that smiley face I'm feeling. Thank you, I'm just from work, so... Oh, just out of the work? Yeah. Let me guess. Like, by the... Okay, from your look, I would say, you know, you're into something, like the style or something. Investment banker. You're a banker? Investment banker. Investment banker. So it's like, you like to rip off people and stuff. 
<laughs> you, are, okay, you don't rip people off? No. Okay, that, that's good then. We're in the EU, so I cannot rip anyone off. So. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was so good. You said, let me guess, from your style, mm. you do this. Right? Have you noticed yeah. the difference? In yeah, the, it's it, in, in doing that. Yeah, it's so good, isn't it? Because when you make assumptions, what you're doing there, you're saying, oh, this is how people perceive you, uh, you know, when you dress like that. If someone then said that to me, it's like, oh, the way you dress, you look like you're, I don't know, a hairdresser or whatever. Then I'll be kind of like, oh, okay, that's interesting. This is how people are perceiving me. So that's, then I'll become interested in the conversation. Obviously with men, it's slightly different because we're not as uh, into our fashion and stuff like that, right? Whereas women are much more into it. So when you say that, you get them hooked into the interaction even more because women care much more about their looks, right? And you're talking about her. Uh, so when you talk about her, she's obviously interested in herself, right? Everyone's interested in themselves. So these are the reasons why it's such a good thing to make assumptions uh, about her. Investment maker. So it's like you like to rip off people and stuff. Yeah, so just stop it there. That was <laughs> insane. <laughs> Uh, uh, making good teas, uh, ha you know, teasing her. So uh, you said, so you love ripping people off, right? <laughs> That's. Where is it? Where's the rest? The money, Skylar. Where is the rest? Where is the money? So good. <laughs> that is, that's really good. That and she laughed, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> you, don't, you don't rip people off. No. Okay, that, that's good then. Yeah, <laughs> she said no. Okay. okay, that's where they cut off. So, yeah, the video got cut off, but that was the most important part. Right, that initial bit, that was so important because what happens is when you meet someone for the first time, you make a quick first impression, right? We do it, everyone does it, and women do it too. So when your first impression is like that, She's gonna to want to stick around. How long did she stick for? Like six, seven minutes or something? Uh, it was at least five minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, at least five minutes. Yeah. So Over she's gonna give minutes. you the time of the day, right? Not only that, but sometimes what happens is they'll make their mind up, right? They'll be like, oh, that's it. You know, like uh, I don't want to go out with this guy, even though they might stay there and have a conversation with you. But in their mind, they know that they're not gonna ever go on a date with you. Yeah. Because your first impression was bad, right? So this is actually proven by research. Uh, they found that when you have a bad first impression, which means like no good eye contact, you know, um, energy is low, it's 10 times harder to recover from a bad first impression, right? So when you go in well, then it's much easier to do the rest of the, the part, which you did there, that was excellent. Um, all right, now you went into attraction. So in the attraction phase, you've done the tease, that was great. So that's the model, basically. First you do you know, the opener, then you do the assumption, then you go into attraction. So attraction is like teasing, it's a challenging, negging, even negging. Like I did it to the other girl, and oh, let me guess from the way you look, you're, you look like a waitress, <laughs> right? So that's a bit more of a, a neg rather than a tease. Uh, and then you got banter, like just taking the piss, which you did, you went, what did you do? Oh, I work in a strip club. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. You did some really good stuff there. Yeah. And then because you're a young guy, you're 20, right? Yeah. And I think she asked you how old you are and you told her. And for some of these girls, uh, we said that they wanted, they're looking for like an older guy, aren't they? Because it's that Eastern European culture. Yeah. So what I said is you could actually use that to push them away, right? So if she goes, oh, I'm like 24 and you're 20, you'll be like, oh, you're way too old for me. Like, you know, you're a grandma, <laughs> right? So use it, but she used it to push you away, Yeah. right? Uh, so this is something that you could use in the future. I think that was a major problem in there because when you closed, she was like, oh, uh, you know, I'll give you my number because this, what you did was really brave, but I'm not gonna give you, no, she said, I'll give you my Instagram. Yeah, yeah, Instagram. Yeah, I'll give you my Instagram because what you did was really brave, but I'm not going to give you my number. Yeah. Uh, even though you did pretty well, but obviously we can improve more. 
So, all right, let's, uh, we can analyze the next video now. Bachelors or you're on masters already? Uh, no, bachelors. Like, I, I don't, I don't like the school too much, to be honest. I like working more. So where do you work? Uh, at the strip. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. <laughs> no, I, I do, I do sales. I work in sales. But yeah, it's been good. I mean, I like to meet and work with new people, so why not? I feel like, you know, that's my, that's my speciality. That's good. Yeah. yeah that's very good. I'm sorry, I have to go to home because I was working for 12 hours. So. For 12 like, investor bankers is just ripping people off on the phone. Like, don't, don't worry. <laughs> no, just kidding. So let me grab your number and let's go for a tea. If you want me to analyze your interactions, the way I analyze Corey's interactions in this video, if you want me to pinpoint exactly where your sticking points are, to pinpoint why you're not getting these results, right? Why you can't get these absolute stunners out on a date, then what I suggest for you to do is to book a complimentary coaching session with me. This one's totally on me. And in this call, you're going to try my coaching completely for free. And if you want, you can carry on the coaching. If not, that's up to you. Maybe this call in itself will solve your problem. So to do that, go to the description now and click the link, fill out the form and book, book the call with me. So I look forward to seeing you soon and hope you have an amazing day. Nav.